Good day, I am Zerina Ming Arsuskar and I am here to present Shaping Regional IP Tool, Affion Marble. Different types of marbles can be found in many parts of the world, but the most used is white marble that can be found in the western province of Affion in the Republic of Turkey. Affion Marble, one of the most vital source of white marble for millennia. In 2003, the government recognized the importance of it when it was granted protections as a geographical indication. This bolters the efforts of companies working in the Skesar quarries. One such company is Turex. Turex, a leading natural stone supplier and inventor of new technologies in the marble and natural stone industry that was formed in 1982. It started out as a local as a small workshop where it turned locally sourced stones such as Affian marble into products including floor and wall tiles, molding and fixtures for homes, publics, buildings, hotels, and other structures. Goods with specific geographical origin. Marble from Iskesar and other region in Afiyun province has a unique physical properties, such as fine grain diameter and thin crystals which are due to geographical fixtures of the region. A few region yield more than 95% calcite, low porosity, high density, and some types that are nearly translucent. It has been used in many ancient structures like Roman temples, Greek amphitheaters, and Ottoman mosques. It is so successful that it accounts for nearly 20% of all marble production in Turkey. Geographical Indication so, this picture shows the Teatro of Ephesus in present day. Traditional products in Turkey such as Afian marble have long played an important role in rural development and the emergence of small and medium-sized enterprises. Recognizing the important role that traditional products play in local communities and their intrinsic economic potential, the Turkish government enacted a law that created GI mechanism to protect such products. With the unique and natural long tradition of Afian marble, it was registered as a GI with the Turkish patent in 2003. So, to be Afian marble, it must be quarried from the Afian region and also must contain specific mineral qualities. For the research and development, Turek's commitment to developing products of a high quality and engaging in research and development for new products and processing methods helped it to soon become one of Turkey's leading suppliers of marbles and other locally sourced stone products. One of the very popular style of marble in the industry is that aged marble. Aged marble, marble products that have their surface treated to give a simulated weather, rough, and age appearance. It is commonly used methods that could effectively simulate aging, they typically took a significant amount of time to compete and were inefficient. So, to solve these problems, Turek entered into research and development to develop a new treatment process that would give locally quarried stones, such as Afian marble, a natural age appearance. Following a period of research and development, in 1997, Turex invented an innovative process to specifically treat marble and similar stones to simulate aging. So there are three types of processing. They are cut into plates, tiles or slabs, then they are polished with diamond tip calibrators, and finally, they are treated to simulate aging. This process is also cost-effective because brushes are attached to already existing equipment which provides for quick implementation. So for the patents, trademark, and dominance, in addition to GI, companies in the marble industry in Turkey have recognized the importance of protecting their innovations and brand with the IP system. So Turex, for instance, made an application for its simulating aging treating process with PPI in 1996. Branding has also proven to be an important strategy for Turex. 
for the commercialization. Turex and other large companies, smaller local producers, or cooperatives are able to sell Afian marble products to domestic or international companies in the marble industry. So as a result, Afian marble continues to be commercialized through many avenues reaching customers throughout the world. So for the business results, smaller producers have been able to reach international markets. Larger companies such as Turex have also been able to grow by utilizing not only GIs, but also other IP instruments such as patents and trademarks. GI has internationally promoted the qualities of Afian marble, the small or medium enterprises, produces over 5,000 varieties of stone products, many of which include Afian marble, and as of 2014, employed over 200 people on five continents. Carved by time. Protection of Afian marble through the implementation of a GI producers, large and small in the region have been able to expand the rich, innovative new products and brands and continues to spread the diverse and natural beauty of Afian marble. That's all. Thank you. Oh, I think the opportunities of the modern world. Alinala is a largely rural region of the state of Guerrero in New Mexico. The place derived its name from the Nahuatl Aztecan word Orinalan, which means place of movement. The place is located five years away by road from the capital of Mexico. The region has been the center for rich mixed indigenous people such as Nahuas, Mixtecs, Amuzgos, and others including those of Afri African and European origin. For generations, Olinala has had a burgeoning cottage industry of intricately made and beautiful, beautifully crafted mock goods. The residents of Olinala allied the Mexican government and others to create a cooperative craftsmen and women. In 1993, Union de Artesanos of Inca, AC, or UAO, was established. This cooperative helps to unite the voice and skills of Olinala's craft workers. Partly due to the cooperative activities, the market access of Olinala's artists has been greatly improved and the socio-economic well-being of this culturally rich but historically marginalized community has been systematically developed. Traditional knowledge During 1521, Mexico, the artisan of Olinala has had adapted some of the traditional cultural expressions or TCE and traditional knowledge or TK. Alinala's renowned products are made by long and painstaking process. Traditional knowledge. Alinala inspired products can be divided into three main styles. Embutido or inlaying, dorado or painting, sometimes called aplicado, and rayado or carving. Created by the artist laying down a design before elements of the pattern are cut out and the grooves are filled with color and color. Embutido is popular in Alinala and western state of Michoacan. Named after the gold leaf historically used to sketch its decorations, Dorado, meanwhile, is a style popular in the Guerrero and Chiapas, the southernmost state in Mexico. This, this style is distinguishable by the use of additional colors when applied onto a base coat to create a vivid floral patterns or recreate nostalgic or patriotic scenes from Mexican history and mythology. More subtle than Dorado, Rayado, furthermore, is a popular in Guerrero and is based on the second color being applied over the base coat to create floral patterns often in combination with animal themes and geometric shapes. Contemporary artists use pastel colors and have been known to create by white and white artesania. Linala artists have been often cultivated a highly style based on the inspiration of a single person. The artisan craftsmen are historically not the creator of the goods. They were the one who are in charge of the whole process. Via UAO, struggling artisans have sought, the, have sought new ways to explo exploit their TK and TCEs in a systematic and collective way. Goods with, goods with specific geographical origin. All the, cre all the key ingredients are products from the Orinala, which stands at 1,600 meters above sea level and represents the highest point in the state, are sourced from the Guerrero region itself.
Bounded by the Pacific Ocean and traversed by the Bessas Plapenco and Mezgala Rivers, the state covers about 24,890 square miles, including the fertile valleys of the Sierra Madre de Sur, and has a rich offering of human and natural resources. Guerrero is also known for its agriculture, mining, and housing. Growing up to 7 to 8 meters, aloe tree is a plant endemic to the area that has thrived in its temperate climate. Aloe tree provides a natural scented wood, resin, and oil extract, linalow, or olinalow wood, which is the most needed for the handicraft industry of Olinara. Since mid 19th century, essential oils from the linalow has been processed for domestic exportation to European and Amer American perfume markets. The region's beautifully made gourds are sourced from the fruit of locally available jicar jicara trees and vines. Other important pr procured from olinala crops are oils and earthen pigments, bird feathers, and deer tails. In order to maximize local assets, the artisans have exploited their geographical heritage to launch quality distinguishable goods into a competitive international lacquered ma products market. Appellations of origin. Appellations of origin or AA are a kind of intellectual property that can provide a legal action, legal protection to produ producers by linking them their products via their culture and production methods to a specific geographic location. To secure an AO for Olinala, Olinala crafts, UAO has worked with the government of Mexico and several other organizations. Include, including the Instituto, Instituto Nacional, Nacional Indigena or INI and the Fondo Nacional para el Formenta, Formento de las Artesanas of Fornite. By enacting the law for the promotion and protection of industrial property in 1991, moreover, the Mexican government recognized the need to promote the country's heritage and businesses while protecting its producers from unfair compet competition. In 1993, UAO craftsmen applied for an AO for Alinala at the Instituto Mexicano de la Propiedad Industrial or IMPI, Mexico's IP office. Having been, having been declared in IMPI's official federation gazette in 1994, the AO was the, thereafter registered with the International System of, of Appellations of Origin on 19, 1995, managed by the World, World Intellectual Property Organization or WIPO. The Alinala AO certificate can be granted to all artists within the municipality who meet the strict standards of quality and production procedures set by UAO members and the official Mexican standards or NOMs for AOs. In accordance with the, with the 1991 law, applicants for an AO has helped to provide evidence that satisfies NOMs criteria. The Department of the Mexican Government and must undergo certification, verification, and monitoring for compliance with these standards. Since granting Olinala's AO, artists in the municipality that meet their certificate standards have been able to improve the quality of their products, differentiate these goods from those of the competitors, and counterfeit faters and confidently enter the local, national, and international market. Branding and commercialization. Following decades of widespread indifference, Olinala artists have become increasingly aware of the needs for branding their products either with their own name, with the Olinala AO certification, or with both in order to successfully enter the market with distinguishable goods. Because the municipality is located on rural, rural highlands with pre previously poor access routes, Olinala used to be approximately nine hours away by the car major center centers of commerce such as Mexico City. Olinala artisan found it difficult to bring their often fragile products to the trade center. Olinala artists had also developed a notorious reputation for indiv individualism. This meant the collective efforts of commercialization were difficult to initiate and most success were limited to a few isolated artisans. From the 1960s and 70s onwards, however, efforts were made to improve and change their factory by various organizations, including INI, Ponart, and the Rural Development.
management agencies and consultants. Based on a successful initiative to help woven palm artisans from La Montana, a region in Guerrero, to scale up production and success, success, successfully market their good, goods through collective efforts. INI collaborated with experts in international development in order to improve access to the region. The initiative, moreover, implemented train schemes for all in all artisans in up-to-date commercialization, distribute, and cooperative business method and principles. One of the first innovations taken in the regards was the improved access routes to major centers such as Mexico City so that the artisans could transfer goods efficiently and begin to increase the target market to the national and international speed. To achieve the aims, INI and MNAIP began to coordinate light aircraft trips between Olinala and cities such as Coatla, 58 kilometers north northeast of Mexico City, which helped craftsmen bring their goods quickly to region markets and plenty of eager consumers. With improved access to local and regional markets, Olinala's craftsmen craftsmen were not only able to take their products in intermediaries to regional commercialization centers with high consumer footfall, including tourists. They were also able to gain access to international markets, especially to the Euro European Union and the United States of America via network of international buyers and family members who were living abroad. As access to various markets improved and cost drop, annual artisan sales from the region grew to approximately $10 million. Since the establishment of UAO and the granting of Olinala's AO, the region's craftsmen have worked with the government in the states of Guerrero and other in order to create more systematic development policies. The local go government in Olinala has, for example, improved the consistency of access to credit facilities, which is artists can apply in order to invest in, in raising production standards to meet those set up by the cooperative and the municipality AO. The Guerrero government, moreover, has worked with UAO members in joint products awareness raising campaign, including co-sponsoring trade fairs, both regionally and nationally between July and August 2011. For instance, the state of Guerrero launched a major international product promotion and commercialization expo exposition in Mexico, C Mexico City called Guerrero Flor e Color. In the Benito Suarez International Airport, the, country la the country's largest and busiest airport. Sit situated in one of the airport exhibition halls, over 100 artists from the region introduced their products, including pottery, textiles, jewelry, and, and the famous Olinala Blackbird Box. To an international clientele, clientele including thousands of visiting tourists, backed by the Olinala AO, the Flory e. Color Exhibition has been able to assure visitors and customers of the products, cultural and geographic. Through the state's assistance and in a collaboration with the other agencies, therefore UAO and its craftsmen have exploited the, the municipality's AO, developed greater market access routes, and stab stabilized the economic environment in the industry in order to successfully and confidential confidently commercialize their goods. In environment, with the success and increase in demand of Olinala's wood products, there has been increased pressure on the region vital natural resources. Indeed, since the early part of 20th, 20th century, distillation of the linaol oils had intensified and coupled to an unregulated Defore deforestation in the area. 
there was a steady decline which peaked in the 1930s in the region of aloe trees. Follow, following a drop of deforestation in the states of Guerrero during the Second World War, the Mexican Forest Service enacted measures intended to protect the state's vital but de deplete, depleted trees. However, as a local enforcement of this law, were unsystemic, unsystematic due in part to lack of res resources for enforcement agencies or education of locals regarding proper conservation methods. Deforestation continued apace. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, the government of Mexico and other agencies had come to realize that a more proactive approach was needed in order to ensure the resources upon which the country's marginalized communities depended. depended. Established by the Me Mexican government in 1977, the Coordin Coordination General del, del Plan Nacional de Zonas de primidas y grupos marginales was an organ, organ of the state that worked with marginalized communities in, in an effort to safeguard their social, economic, and natural resources. To this end, Mexico's National Ecology Institute, the National Autonomous University in the Council for Nauha Village of, of the Upper Balsas in Guerrero, in Guerrero have begun in monitoring program for endangered trees in the region, including the aloe tree that are used by the artisan which acknowledge the municipality and its natural research is part of study strategy to ensure that environmental considerations are at the heart of the region developed agenda. In business result. Since the establish of UAO and the AO declaration for Olinala, there has been a steady improvement in the social, economic, and environmental condition of the traditionally marginalized municipality on its stable climb to a successful future. The region has been the recipient of awards and recognition for its thesis, take and crops industry. The, the Mexican government, for instance, presented the Artisan of Olinala with the National Arts and Services Award in the category of Popular and Tradition Arts. In 1993, the community geographical isolation and problems with the market access more and more have improved since the construction of a new road linking Olinala at the nearest main highway in the state of Guerrero. Alinala's craft hold pride a place in fall art showrooms in Mexico City where the, they are displayed and sold at the famous street Avenida, Avenida de la Reforma and in other locations within the city of, of the city such as the commercial center called a Mexico Artesianas La Cuida, Cuida de la These products include the jewelry chest have become the crowning jewel and prestigious venues including the interior decor of major institutions such as the Intercontinental Hotel in Mexico City. Furthermore, due to increased international demand for such wares, all in all artists have tailored their creation to suit increasingly high and European, German, North American and the East Asian, including Japan and South Korean, taste tests and motives. Olinala craft birds, therefore, has broad progress in the prospect of a bright future to a historically marginalized mountain community with a rich cultural and natural heritage. The revived industry has led to greater market access for its craftsmen and modern infrastructure and communication for the municipality and inhabitants as a result that Lockwood crops industry in Olinala has accounted for 80% of the region economy. The art and crafts of progress for generation and indigenous community of Olinala crops, beautiful Lockwood 
ornaments and objects for everyday use made of wood or ground, traditionally based in small family units in an isolated region. The community discovered a common ownership in their cultural and geographical heritage, built local, national, and international commercial network, and set about reviving their economy while preserving their environment and culture.